Welcome back. In this Python tutorial, we are going to go over how to use the OpenPyXL package to apply different styles to spreadsheets with LibreOffice Calc. The examples shown will also work with Excel and Numbers, etc. The examples we will cover include changing font styles, fill cell color, resizing cells, changing cell border styles, and how to change the styles of many cells all at once. For the imports, we have from openpyxl.styles, import font, pattern fill, border, and side. From openpyxl, import workbook, and from openpyxl.utils, import, get column letter. We start by creating a workbook and grabbing the active worksheet. Next, let's assign a value to cell A2. To change the font styles of a cell, we will access cell A2 using cell equals worksheet A2. Then we can use cell.font with font and choose the different styles we want to change, such as font name, size, bold, italic, underline, color, etc. We can also change the cell fill color by using cell.fill with pattern fill. In this example, we choose a solid fill with the color yellow. Colors are set using hexadecimal values. See the Working with Style section of the OpenPyXL documentation for more examples. Here we change the height and width of the cells using the worksheet row and column dimensions. To save the workbook, we use workbook.save. And here we can see the styles we have assigned to the worksheet cell A2. For our next example, Let's go over how to change the styles of many cells all at once. We start by utilizing a nested for loop to loop over the rows and columns that we want to change. Then we use worksheet.cell and put in the row and column from the for loop to access the cells. Here we fill the cell with a solid pattern color of orange. And here we change the border style. Here we can change the height and width of the cells using the worksheet row and column dimensions but for many cells all at once. For the column dimensions we use get column letter to get the column letter from the for loop. Let's save the changes. And here we can see the styles we assigned to many cells all at once. That's all we have for this tutorial. Join us again next time.